a lovely bright sunny day. It's still a little bit chilly, but then I am stood in the shade. Currently on our way to breakfast, but Matthew didn't put his shoes on. Are we all ready now? Yeah. Everyone got a mask? Let's go. So we're having breakfast at a place called the Crooked Spoon. And thankfully, I think it's just around the corner because we are a little late. Yep, that was right, Crooked Spoon. It's just on this corner here. Super easy to get to. Time for breakfast. We're here. We've made it to our first ride of the day in time for opening. So Sam and I are going to go on 13, but this is going to be so creepy if we're the only two on this train. Oh no, there's people in front of us. That's okay. Do you remember when we used to like, when, when we came, when it first opened and we stood in this queue and there was just like forever. There was just random people stood in the forest. I wonder if they're still here. Oh, I don't think it was real people. Oh. I mean, it might have been, but I don't think it was. Yes, you, real person, just go stand in the woods like a statue for ages. Wouldn't want that job. He's talking now. He's now talking about the maximum throughput. So to explain everything that's going on, we've done what three and a half rides now. I say a half because we did one of them twice, um, and it is eleven o'clock. The park's been open for an hour. We're doing well. We are taking our time today, making it a little bit more leisurely. But we have just been on Hex because we actually really quite enjoy that ride. It's really clever how it works. These two, particularly Sam. I've been trying to work out how many people it can get get through the ride in an hour and Matthew's now trying to work out how many people it can get through in a day. So you said what, 1200 in an hour? Which I think's pretty good going considering it's a room by room ride as opposed to like a carriage ride. Did you work out how many it was per day? I need to calculate. Eight enough. times 1250 is quite difficult to Where do. Where did you get the 50 from? Because it's 1250. It's 1200. Because I did nine times five rather than eight times five, that's why. 9,600 people. And Adair. Well, yeah, but soaring is... What, what's the plan now? I know we said we're taking it leisurely, but we have an idea of which direction we want to leisurely walk into. Oh. Do you want to go on pinball with us? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's go then. We've just done the Kanga Rapids, and I'll be honest, I... What? Maybe they're not called the Kanga Rapids, I don't know. But we've just done the rapids. I expected to get a lot more wet than I did. A little bit wet on the side of my trousers. But overall, that was actually a really relaxing ride. Highly recommend if you just want to sit and chill for a minute. That's a good ride to go on. Uh, what did we say was now? Mine train. Choo choo! I'm beginning to learn more and more that Alton Towers is not very vlogger friendly. I did just try to film on the Royal Mind Train. I was like, oh, that's a really like simple ride. Should be really easy to film on there. No, they're coming along like, sorry, can't film. Can you put that away, please? Okay. parked out we did a really good job ended with galactica with like four minutes to the back gate opening and then we were done and now we're walking back look at this fountain how cool is that you've got to admit the theming for the splash landings hotel is pretty cool we've got dinner booked at seven which is good we're walking back to our lodge first because even though it's a nice evening so far i'm gonna get my bigger coat because i don't want to risk it being really cold when we come out after dinner. But yeah, that was two days in Alton Towers. We still got tomorrow to go. Uh, we've got crazy golf. We got nine holes free. And if we want, we can pay an extra two pounds per person and play 18 holes, which doesn't seem too bad, but we'll decide that in the morning. We're not gonna leave straight away. We're gonna take hold of the opportunity that we don't have to be back for any particular time. But first dinner, sleep and pack, and then breakfast, then golf. Since I showed you the Splash Landings Hotel Fountain, I should probably show you this fountain. Because this is all pretty cool as well. You've got to admit it's creative. Anybody else getting some chitty chitty bang bang vibes? That car with wings. So we're uh, playing golf. We've just done our first hole and I'm already not looking very good. The par was two, the boys both got two, I got four. This, this isn't great. Very clean. Can 
No! Ooh. Very close. Two of them coming back. You can try. It would make sense that it is. Remember, don't look down. And he looked down. Ooh! Out of bounds! Oh. <laughs> they weren't recording, but I got a hole in one! Done some of the oblivion circle! It's not coming through this hole. Why not? Because it's not. Why not? Because it's going out there. Just hit it. Get out of the way, Sam. nine holes done on to holes it is very short on to holes 10 to 18 what will the first one be nemesis look at this cute little children's tunnel they can climb through Literally one way through. Well, you could hop it. You can hop it, so I just do not want to. Isn't it hopping it risky? Well, not I feel really. like hopping it is riskier than just putting straight. That's what I said, isn't it? Come on then, Matthew. What's your take? Confidence is key. So is speed and power. Guess that also works. Onto Hex, arguably the ride with the best music soundtrack. Oh, that is cool, look, it's got like a green light on the inside. Three different tunnels to go through. And a branch and chains. Ooh, nice one. One would say maybe seven years old. Well, not the ducklings are seven years old, but they are about the age of a seven year old human. So in duck years, they're about seven? Yes. I wasn't suggesting that, that was you. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> oh, shame. Oh, you knocked me out, thanks. Ah, the flume. The longest log flume in the UK and Europe. One of the two. Now, no longer here, in favour of the Wicker Man. On to our final hole. The driving school. Perfect practice for the drive home. Well, that wasn't a smart idea. That, that wasn't what we're aiming for. <laughs> well, that wasn't a smart idea. I know, but it was at a really odd angle.
disappointment is immeasurable and my day is wrong. Oh. <laughs> Five. Okay. I'm very good at not go. doing stuff accurately. Thank you. Okay, everyone ready for the scores on the doors? As well as will ever be. Uh, so round one holds one to nine. In third place is me! <laughs> With 32 points, you can get a total score of 27 points. Uh, well, with the pars, if you get it all in pars, you've got a total of 27. Uh, in second place is Matthew with 27. Yay. And Sam with a total of one under par of 26. Well done, Sam, first place on that one. Okay, so the total par on holes 10 to 18 is 25. In third place, we have Matthew with 37. Yay, well done. I can hear the sarcasm in your voice, Rachel. It's really depressing. <laughs> Sorry. In second place, we have me with 32. And Sam, sadly, again, you are in first place, but this time you are not under par, you are not on par. In fact, you are over par by four points. You will have a score of 29. Well done. Did we all enjoy that? Yes. Yeah. Great. Until the leaves became a problem. Yeah, the second course was kind of leafy. Well, the second half of the second course. That's it. It's time to go. Yay. Let's head back to the car and start the drive back home. <laughs> oh, that's the front of the park. <laughs> Were you thinking, oh, there's a coaster over there? Yeah. I was looking at that coaster just over there and thinking, what ride's that ride? That was the corkscrew ride. Well, that, or a piece that, of it. That's the corkscrew from corkscrew. Yes. Of which you got it's Now it sits at the front of the park as you enter.